Hi, my dearest confidant. Last time we talked about anger and how it can be a deeper emotion. And today I thought it might be more beneficial instead of going into the next emotion, which anger to me is the most relevant one, the one that I tend to lean to first, and then I go into uh, deeper shades of, of that. And so today I wanted to do a little recap about anger. And, you know, we talked about it being um, your ego trying to protect something deeper that has occurred or some hurt that has happened and um, that the anger is just a signal, right? And so we talked about um, it possibly being a boundary that has been crossed, a need that's unmet, um, and then how to accurately express what you're actually really feeling to the other person or even to yourself and how do you do that and also stay true to yourself and so um, I'm seeing someone about mindfulness and how to be present every day we had a session this morning and uh, we talked about values and she asked me to define what I thought values were and Values to me are concepts or ideas that you, within yourself, deem important, right? And so she had me name four. My four are um, honoring my word, being honest with myself, taking care of things that are important to me, and knowing and understanding how to compromise when compromise is necessary, right? Sometimes you're not going to compromise because it's a boundary that you have and it's a, it's something that you really need to stick to. Um, but there's other times where you can be flexible and you can understand more about the other person and, and come to uh, um, a place where you can compromise. And so something that came out to me um, when we were talking was values and the conflict that I have internally and um, with other people, right? And we talked about, you know, she asked me, well, okay, if you were um, better at compromising, what would that look like? And I was stumped for a minute and I was like, okay, what would that look like? I can't control what the other person feels is important or their ability to have a healthy discussion about it, right? I can only, ex I can only change my approach to how I either am too aggressive um, in needing to have that compromise, you know, I'm having a, a disagreement with someone and I want to get to the bottom of it and I want to have some sort of resolution, right? Um, and that other person may not be down for that. And so I have to be okay with that. Something that she brought up was maybe the conflict isn't with them, especially if they don't want to engage, right? The conflict might be within myself and, um, I'm just outwardly expressing that. And I was like, okay, that's, that's really good to, to get out there and to be aware of, right? And I also realized through that process that we were, you know, talking about those that my list of four and how I rank myself and how I can be better is that a lot of the times when I am upset with someone else or another situation, it's because their, what they think is important and their values are not the same as mine, right? And so let's take um, honoring your word, for example. Um, if they didn't grow up in a home that that was a thing, like they were always lied to or whatever, they just, whatever the case is, it doesn't even have to be something that happened when they were a child. However, most problems and, and, and things that occur are from childhood. Everything in your life can be traumatic if you take it that way, right? And um, anyways, um, so if that's not important to them, then, you know, uh, me having someone say that they're going to, let's say, be with me on a certain date and time at a certain place, right? And at the last minute, they don't show up. Or they say they're going to be there at a certain time and they're 20 minutes late. That's a big thing for me, right? Um, honoring their word may not be as important. Or maybe they don't realize that they're not honoring their word. Or maybe they have no idea that they don't even honor their word. Maybe they find that a different way, right? And so... Um, it's important for me to understand that just because I value something doesn't automatically mean that it's something that someone else values. And if I can come to a place where I'm okay with that, I might stop a lot of that, uh, 
anger and then what turns into resentment or frustrations or bitterness or any of those other things, I can stop that from occurring by not assuming that just because it is important to me that the other person also thinks it's important. Um, and then, of course, you know, the more true I am to myself, the more honest I am with myself, the less I'm going to associate myself and get myself involved in those types of relationships with people that don't have those same values. And if I can withhold my own boundaries with myself, then I can have healthier interactions with people. And the people that are not going to honor that about me are just going to fall away. They're just going to disappear into you know, whatever for me. It's not going to become part of my reality. It's not going to continue to be who I am and who I associate with, right? But a lot of the times, those lessons that keep coming back are in the forms of other people. And when I disregard who I am and the things that are important to me, when I'm not honest with myself, right? My boundaries, the things that are important to me, if I'm not honest about those things, then I can't expect someone else to automatically understand and know what that is, right? If I can't even communicate it to myself, how am I going to expect someone else to be able to communicate that and appreciate that and respect that? Well, I'm not. And so that was a really big deal for me today. And I wanted to share that with you because I didn't ever really think about that before, right? You know, it's always so easy to play the victim and to put that stuff out there and have someone else be the problem, someone else be the reason why you're upset or you know, whatever, the feeling this other than happy, right? Um, but when I think about it, it's because I let myself down first. I ignored those things that were important to me because I wanted to have a relationship with this person or I wanted to have this experience over here, right? And instead of just following along with that um, intuitive voice, I kept on tuning it out. And then now I'm upset because I don't hear the voice and I expect someone else to hear the voice for me? Like, really? What? That doesn't even make any sense. And so um, it was a really eye-opening session that I had with her today, and I really appreciate that we were able to go through that and um, talk about it. And then something else that we talked about that I just want to touch on really briefly is, um, you know, sometimes you just need to restate what that boundary is. And once you do that, you know, you get to that, that other person will get to that point where they're like, okay, I get it. That's important to you. Okay, I get it. That's important to you. And then finally, you don't have to say it at all anymore, right? Because either they're going to self-illuminate because that's just too much for them and they can't handle it. Or they're going to realize that it's actually important to you. And even if it's not important to them, that they should honor that and respect that about you. And so... Anyways, I just wanted to come on here really fast and just talk about that, and um, hopefully that's helpful to you, and uh, yeah, so there'll be some more stuff up on my page, on my website, cth.life, soon, um, but for now, that's what I wanted to talk about, and so I hope that that's helpful and a helpful follow-up to the anger conversation that we had a couple of days ago and just remember to check in with yourself make sure that you are um, noticing how you're feeling in your body and in your mind and just taking notice of it you don't need to change anything yet just take notice because the change will come the more that you take notice it will automatically happen you don't have to force it you don't have to fight it it will automatically happen you just need to be aware and part of that is being aware with the things that you tell yourself and what's important to you so that way you can adequately express it outwardly. Um, until next time, my dearest, I love you.